Hi guys, welcome back to XCOM UFO Defense. Hard mode expansion, starting episode 10. Get in there. All right, so um, where are we? 4th of March. Uh, yeah, time's moving along. So we're into our third month. And we are um, working away in alien biology. And we are I think we're expecting a couple more scientists in seven hours. And a soldier. Um, but since we're on alien biology, I think we're, we're closing in on being able to use the alien data slate when we get it. So that we get if we successfully take out alien base one. And um, I've kind of been putting it off under the theory that, you know, I'd like to harvest supply ships that arrive at it. But the thing is that we have to do it. I think it might be getting harder over time. And finally, um, ultimately, I'm just avoiding it. So, you know, because I'm scared. So. I think what we're going to do is let's just get out there and see what we can do. Um, I was debating bringing in like a noob squad to do recon, but I think, you know, so when we did the supply missions, they were floaters and the floaters, I think now have sectoids with them. So they've been upgraded. So this base likely has floaters and sectoids. It may also have, um, it probably has the terror units, uh, reapers. And let's hope that that's the case. Let's hope that it doesn't have cyber discs or anything like that. So. If it does, we may have to abort and come back at it later, but, um, so let's see, or high explosives. I mean, if it has cyber disks, I don't know what to say. We're in deep trouble. So it'll probably be an abort situation. Anyway, I think, you know, bringing this, this crew is good. It's our, it's our good crew. We've got, you know, a couple wounded ranking people, but we're bringing in the Colonel. Yeah, let's, let's do it guys. Let's go. Um, and I just, sorry, let's just make sure that we have enough stuff. So enough gear. So we're going to bring, yeah, pistols, sh a lot of shotguns. So, oh yeah, taser pistols, doesn't matter because we, we can't take prisoners yet. You know, that's some of the research that will emerge from this is, oh, I've also got um, alloy ammo for the heavy cannon. That's interesting in case you run into uh, cyber discs, I suppose. The grenade launchers we're going to have on board, but we're not going to use because the problem is it's a single story building. So you can hit the ceiling really easily and kill yourself. Um, yeah, and med packs, you know. Let's bring six and yeah, and, you know, I think that's good. Let's go in. It's basically going to be shotguns, you know, alloy shotguns. The snipers, I think actually I might not even do sniper rifles. I don't think I will. I think they're going to be not that useful. I think everybody's going in with shotguns except for the few people that are heavy cannon. I think the rock, uh, we're trying to save stuff too. It's a, like we're trying to salvage the place and take prisoner or um, recover kit. So. Blowing the place to heck doesn't really seem like a good idea. Guys, let's just do this. It's refueling, but I think we have enough fuel to go. Let's just go straight there. Here it is, guys. Okay, so... Um, my strategy with bases has been largely to hold back and use proximity mines to lure them in. And I, I think I might continue to do that. Um... I'm trying to decide whether we want to use smoke or not. Um, might be a good idea, but you don't know who's gonna have who's gonna pop out where. So we've got okay. These guys are heavy on the okay, a little overweight. I think what we're gonna do this round is we're gonna go everybody underweight because I don't. I definitely don't want to have the issue of. Um, we're gonna need all the movement points we can get for this. So let's go underweight for everybody. Um, you know, I'm gonna tra trade these for, for proximity mines. Balzac, Balzac tier. Do smoke, let's trade that for proximity mine. Uh, grenade launcher, get rid of it for this mission. Bird. Okay, and let's take Erd. You're pretty strong, pretty low accuracy though. I think, you know, I think I'm just gonna hand you a shotgun and hope for the best. And a bunch of proximity mines, a couple of grenades. Pistol, alloy pistols, not bad. I mean, I guess, okay, most people could have alloy pistols too. Those are, those are nice if you have the space. Maybe I should have more pistols actually. This guy's pretty accurate. Okay, this is, wow. Do we want a rocket launcher even? I think we just want a heavy cannon. 
with alloy rounds as a backup. Load it with, it's loaded with alloy. Hmm. I don't know guys, I think even, I think even it's, it's, it's not, you know, I think if we run into cyber discs, we're just gonna leave and come back and, and rethink this whole thing because, yeah, I mean, we might be able to take a cyber disc or two with shotguns, with alloy rounds, I really don't know, but um, you can tell I'm uncertain about all this. Anyway, shotguns with alloy are, are definitely a good deal. So that was Albina. Boy, all of our grenadiers are unloading. Zabo. Shotgun time for you, I guess. He's pretty accurate too, but that's the thing. I, I just don't really want to blow things up. I want to just shotgun people basically and throw proximity mines. Zabo, you, you could have held a, could you have done this? No, it would have put you way over. Okay, we're gonna find somebody else to do that, although you were pretty heavy. Rahul. So, mm, it's tempting a little bit to do this, but I just see it as dangerous because he, the problem is he can't really move and shoot very well. So, I think we're just gonna do shotguns because in the base, it's just there's so much movement and shooting required that lip tack. Same deal for you, man. Like, as much as I'd like to. Okay, we're out of shotguns. Oh, I didn't think this through. Somebody needs to have the heavy weapon. Ooh, this guy, 52. Uh, okay, I guess, you know, I guess the heavy, a heavy weapon with, oh, it's low accuracy too, but. The Colonel's not very good. You know, the Colonel for all his like rank is kind of weak. Let's, let's give lip tack cause he's so accurate this thing. So it can punch through some people. Oh, that's really heavy. Um. Oh. Okay, well, then we're taking that off. Gee, running into some issues here for space. So, yeah, you, you got it. You, you should really be a shotgun person. Let's find somebody else who's accurate to do the, um, the heavy. That guy's not bad, Lionel. 61 accuracy. Gee, I feel like... We're short shotguns. This is not a good thing. You should have your choice of weaponry for this. Abina, okay. Abina's really accurate, so let's. She'll be a heavy. Um. And bring some high explosive rounds. Let's back up. Drop your grenade. You won't need those. Okay. Let's go back to. Lip tack. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Jeeb. Okay. So the the colonel's gonna be on shotgun deeds. He's he's got a lot of space in his kit. He can throw a lot of grenades too. Let's give him a pistol. Let's back up. Okay. So is everybody armed now? Yeah. The only thing we're not doing is bringing in that second med kit, which I, I I'm gonna regret. Sorry. There's two more med kits. I brought six med kits. That's a lot more than we usually have, but. I don't know who else. You're gonna need them, but we also need a lot of grenades. So lift that. You can do one more of these. Um, you can do something. You can do one more. You've got a lot. Okay. So the question is, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a lot of people with armed proximity mines. And, and really hope that it just doesn't backfire terribly. Bird. Zabo, we've got tons of them. You know, like just set up an insane proximity minefield. This is my strategy. Lift tax a heavy. Najib. You know, I, I think uh, you've only got the one. Let's hold on to that. The guys with lots like, yeah, this, the Colonel. The only downside with this is that if it backfires, they, you know, you have mines all over the place within your squad area, which is bad. Jessica's going to be on recon. This dude's on recon. Justine, she's on recon. Okay, that's let's do that. Let's call that, guys. Let's go. Thomas, okay. Balzac, Jacob Liptak. Okay, does anybody here have that smoke grenade primed? No. Louise, Najib, 
there's actually, yeah, it looks like they kind of clustered. Okay, Dominguez. Uh, you can't really go down the stairs and come back up. That's the problem. But you don't want to send somebody with a grenade down the stairs because if they get shot instantly. Okay, I guess it's going to be lip tack. Oh dear. Okay, so this looks dangerous from all sides. Which is, you know, typical. Okay, so the, the square that he went down in is safe. So let's go down on that square. And start setting up mines. Set one up here. Balzac. Set one up here. I'm not just I'm not sure which is the safest side of this this lift, but it's probably like that's probably safe-ish. Najib, who else has She's got one, but I don't think she can throw it this turn. 40? Yeah, maybe. Uh no, she can't. So it's, the problem is if she dies. She's going to have a grenade at our feet. Okay, Balzac, left tack, okay, you guys turn around. So, the, yeah. Najib's going to throw a next turn. You're going to be on. Abina's going to be on. Okay. Oh. Abina, I really don't need to die, but... Francisco. Najib, hold back. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Okay, here's the other squad. Rafal. I'm not 100% sure what to do with Justine. You're a recon. Go down here. Okay, that's this is a better spot because we only have three sides to worry about. Particularly these two sides are bad. Okay, Justine, come up. Rahul. Drop a grenade. There. Okay. Uh, Zabo. Okay, Zabo's gonna toss one. Right there. Lionel, can you do it? I don't think you can do it this turn, so let's just pull you to here. So this side looks fairly safe. Um, I mean, I guess we might wanna throw a smoke grenade up here to, you know, to give us some stealth. I'm gonna try it. And just see how that does for us. I actually haven't done that before, but a little risky in some ways because I don't know how it behaves. But I'm gonna pull you back here just in case you. Okay, let's hope these guys don't get shot. Okay, guys, first turn. Let's do it. That's a lot of aliens, guys. Nobody stepped on my mines. Where's Justine? Louise? Justine? Oh, Balzac. Okay, this is this team. Who's our recon person here? Not Albina. Francisco, it's you. Ah. I don't like having recon people again with a... Uh, I think... Ah, uh, but if we lose the leader, it's, it's going to be a morale hit. I guess it's you, Balzac. It hurts, but... Okay, still nobody. So these two are grenaded. Let's get some more grenades down there. Francisco, are you? You gotta prime this still, darn. Louise is ready to go. Let's do it. Okay, come down here. And then Najib's gonna do it. Throw it there. Nice, Najib. And let's get some more ready. Lip tack and Tom, Tom Esser on Overwatch here with the heavy guns. Balzac is going to be our secondary grenade guy. Abina, you're heavy, so we'll hold you back. Francisco, you've got a, you've got one primed. Okay, that's good. And Louise is that. So let's check the other team. Smoke this group right out. Where's Louise? Justine, that is. Sorry, down you go. Oh, spotted. Looking away, too. Good. So you can do one of these. 16 time units. That gives you enough to get back upstairs. Yes. To the back. Excellent. Zabo, go have a look. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, they will blow this if they go there, so that's recovered. But we do want to get a couple more grenades set up. Um, Lionel, you're the one, right? Yep. Okay. Let's get down there. We definitely need this covered here. 
Okay. And you, Erd, you've got one ready. Just in case. Let's see. Hmm. Like, this is still dangerous. I, I would like to put a second one down there. I, I don't know if he can do it, though, in, in time. I think we're going to hold him till next turn. So what, what's the story here? If, if somebody comes here, we could... Nah, I don't think they can get an angle. It's actually pretty safe. This guy, Angel's in danger. He can get shot. Let's pull him over to this side. That's safe. And then you, Erd, I guess you're going to shotgun people to come up the stairs. Justine's going to have to turn around. Hey guys, let's wait on our traps here. Okay, that did not kill whatever it is. Bad. Whoa. How did he get past the trap? Okay, so it was on the other one. Here. I thought we had a trap here. Gee, I must be misremembering that. That's not good. Oh dear, guys, that's not good. Um, okay, Louise, Danny, go. Okay, clear. So I'm gonna put one. I don't want to. The problem is you don't want to blow bodies up, right? Like you. That was a nice kill, by the way. Whatever that was. Let's. But we need to set up another trap for sure. Francisco, you're the man. Let's do it. Let's put one like there. Francisco, can you get can you get out? Yeah. And and we've got a backup. No, Najib. Oh, you're out. Let's get uh, oh Balzac's ready to go. Prime that. Lip tack and these guys are the Overwatch. I better get. Let's do an Overwatch like that. I think that's fairly safe. And Najib, yeah, you've got nothing to work with here. I guess Louise, it's on you. You're gonna be going downstairs next time. But yeah, th we do have a we have a like they could come this way around the corner, and that's a weakness. Um, but I guess, you know, to some extent you're gonna have to blow bodies up. You can't help it. You okay, better go downstairs and have a look. A foul versus Angel. I think Angel's the one. Okay, the other thing you gotta remember is where are all your bombs, you know? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Did I throw one? I, I threw one there. Where are we relative to one another? That's something I don't know either. So here's one entrance. Where's the other one? Oh, there. Interesting. We're spread pretty pretty far out, actually, across the base, which I suppose is good. Oh, this shows rusted grenades, too. So yeah, we did throw one long on this one. Good. Okay, let's let's wait on that. Uh, does anybody else want to prep a grenade? Justine, you're a recon person. Erd's ready to go. Lionel. Let's get you set, set, set up. Okay, those guys are our Overwatch Rafal. Yes. So we could reset in one turn if we had to. This team's a little light on grenades. Balzac's ready in a Jeep short one. Okay, lip tack. I guess you're going to throw this to, to Najib. Get back to your Overwatch. Najib. You load it up. You prime it up. And and Louise, you're you're gonna be ready to go. It's not primed yet. Okay. Let's wait, guys. It's one down. Okay. So this is still trapped up. We're gonna check it, but somebody died up here, interestingly. So who's going down? Zabo? I, I Justine, of course. Somebody died over there. I don't even know. Maybe they got blown up when they opened the door. They would have come through the door, so we've got to reset that trap. But this all looks good still. Um, Justine, you're here. Who's going down? Lionel, it's you. Throw it there. Come back. So the only real, like, this is, you know, very careful approach. The only problem is that if they have blaster bombs, you know, they could decide to wipe us out. Look at this. They're playing really coy, though, eh? Look at this. It's like... It's freaky. Okay, let's do another. Oh! Oh, look at that. We got problems. They're pushing. They're pushing a force up that way. Oh, oh my gosh. The, uh, the colonel went down. 
Why not? A friendly fire incident. Liptak, do you have... Who's got... Let's figure out who's got the um, med pack. Oh, of course, Balzac has it. Najib? Of course, Najib has it. Francisco, does anybody else have a med pack that can... Okay, Louise could, but I don't know if she has the points for it. Oh, she's got as many as him. I'm seeing Najib as the man on this. Let's... Okay, let's try to end this thing. 51. Whoa, it's tough. Nineteen. Let's try this. <sighs> Looks like you hit the colonel there. Oh man, Francisco, I'm gonna do this because oh, it's so it's so strong that thing. It's gonna come up and just destroy the squad. Balzac, do this for us. Right. Hey, Balzac, up you come. We need somebody to um, to throw another grenade to set that trap again. It's oh, she doesn't have the the wherewithal to do it. It's gonna be an cheap. So, Luis, you're gonna try to save the colonel's life. Go. Oh, he's okay. Use a stamina. Not enough time units. Okay, Najib, we need you. Do it like... It should still set off if anybody walks. Oh, that's not gonna work. Anyway. Okay. Go back. Unfortunately, this team doesn't have much in the way of Overwatch left, so... Ugh. We're, we're, we're sitting ducks here, guys. It's just whatever happens to us next turn happens. It's rough. Yeah, they could just walk right in. The only hope we have is that, that we have those grenades, but... Other squad. Justine. Recon lady. Nice and quiet here. We'll back. Okay, let's hope for the best. That those shotguns are deadly. That was good. Okay, let's get back and check on the um the colonel. Yeah, the colonel's up. He's in really bad shape. So the colonel basically Okay, that's pretty much an empty pack. Let's, who's going downstairs? Albina might have to start earning her keep. Albina, oh, you're heavy though. Francisco's the one, he's very, okay. Yeah, the shotguns are really dangerous up close. Okay, you're gonna have to, Tomas is gonna have to get his, um, his gear back after this. Who shot him? It wasn't Albina, it could have been Francisco. Yeah, Francisco's a bit of a wild man shooting down that, that corridor there. He can't shoot anyway though next turn, but... I'm gonna do this, and if anybody tries to come up the ladder, he's gonna put a shot into it. We've got also got uh, Liptak with the heavy, and Albina with this. Let's pop Albina up one, so she puts something into it. Balzac is with a shotgun, so a bit dangerous, but it's armed too. Let's pull back one. Okay, so Justine, okay, you have to go down again. See, nobody's coming near this squad. We've got the two shotguns here. We've got we've got a lot of shotguns on this, which is pretty dangerous as we've seen. But anyway, let's, let's try it. We're kind of our own worst enemy so far. That's one down. That was good, and no more. So the worst is when they push through. Okay, Najib, uh, who's on recon here? It's looking like Najib. Somebody's got to throw a uh, grenade down there now. It's going to be Balzac. Liptak could come in too, but Najib, down you go. That's another one. Bites the dust. We're going to set up another trap right there. Okay, good. Okay, you... Okay, first of all, Sarg, uh, Colonel, get your stuff. Oh, that's, that's where all the gear is right there. He's got 56 time units. See, he's in really bad shape, but I'm going to hold him back. He can just do medic work and maybe set up a, a proxim mine or two. Okay, let's pull him back. And, okay, yeah. And let's set up that grenade again, 51. Okay, right here. Okay, let's just see. So, 
check the map. Yeah, we still have a bunch of grenades there. So we're actually pretty well covered now. Uh, you know, unless it walks through a grenade, which is we know what they're capable of doing. But if it's one of those terror units, so, so far it's just standard floaters with with the, the standard terror units. Oh my gosh, there's a Reaper. We're in trouble, guys. It's coming up. Oh, nice. Okay, who did that? It was this crew that got that. Well, good. So anyway, uh, Justine's going to pop down and take a peek to see if anybody else came in. Nope. Pop back up. Let's reset that trap. So that was a pretty good use of a proximity grenade because it weakened it. And it when it came through, it was pretty much got toasted quick. Okay, so we've got, we need to get another couple guys. So he's got, yeah, he's got his thing ready. Lionel, let's get yours going. And Angel, eh, you know what? You guys are hanging back, let's set this up. And this is our death squad here. Justine as well, let's turn her back around. Check the other team. So Thomas, I guess, you know what? It is, I'm a little more nervous about this squad for some reason. They're kind of light, you know what I mean? Okay. Oh, spotted something. A Reaper over there. Interesting. Um, okay. Well, you know what? Let's earn some pay here. Combat pay. I don't even know if this armor piercing really does much against them, but it's worth taking a shot. Oops, tearing the place up. So she can't even take a shot next turn. Pull her back. Let's get some shotgun on this. That was a hit. Yeah, I like the shotguns, you know, just spraying rounds at them is effective. So it was 20 for 34, let's do it. That was two shots on him, it looked like. And I wanna save a little bit for Overwatch. Nick Jeeb's on Overwatch, lip tacks out. Albina, I know. The boss. Now this guy's a da Oh, Luis, she can't even... You know, I don't even want her to take a shot. So... Let's just leave it at that. If he comes, he hopefully dies. He's taken a few wounds, so hopefully he dies when he hits the bomb. This crew, we already... We did some action. Okay, let's go, guys. What happens now? Uh-oh, a Reaper got through. Uh-oh, they're pushing, guys. They're pushing. Oh, what even just happened? So this squad, the Reaper came in. He did not die as expected. Oh, a Reaper went down over there though. Maybe that was the one. Or maybe he hit both. He came through and he went that way. Because this squad now has, that's opened up too. So they're wide open. That's the only covered entrance right now. Bad news baseball. Balzac, recon. Oh, that's the Reaper. Oh, Balzac, come on. Can you put it down for us? That's what I like to see. And we have alien wounds on too, so he's probably gonna bleed out. Unfortunately, we don't have it. We don't have enough grenades on the ready to do this. That's a real shortcoming. Um, he doesn't even have one. Lip tack, we're gonna need these guys in case somebody comes up the elevator. Klein, oh, you're ready, but uh, you're not in a very good position for this. 52 gonna be really tight. I don't want you to get stuck down there. I think we're gonna... Fortunately, I think we're gonna have to wait a turn and just really hope that this works out for us. Cisco, yeah, you don't have one. It's crazy. Balzac's out. So I'm gonna hope these people, if somebody comes through, these people can shut it down. But we're kind of open. The only hope is that a bunch of guys have already come this way and got chewed. But it could easily go badly here. Um... I just don't like it, and I let this happen because I, I basically didn't um, aggressively load up proximities. Abina, okay, throw one to him, and then turn around. You still can get a shot, I think. You pick it up and prime it. Hopefully, we, we have three grenades. Hopefully, we can set up our perimeter again. You can still get a shot. Let's check the other squad. Justine, you're going to be our recon forever. Oh! What do I do now? Do I, 
have to go back down and hopefully don't have another reaction. Come on. Oh. A dirty. That's what I like to see, but Justine, you know, she didn't even really get a chance. All right. You know, it was just like a surprise shot to the back of the head. Okay. Get up. Let's get our, set our thing up again. And I learned a lesson from the other guys. So we've got one, two ready. Make sure that one's primed. Yep. These two are our, our assassin squad, and these two. So we've got two. I think that's going to have to do for now. Poor Justine. Moment of truth, guys. One down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're coming through. They're coming through. Oh, no, they're coming through. Oh. Yep. Look at this. Small launcher on that guy, too. Um... This is bad, because if he, he gets a shot up the stairs, it's lights out. Najib's going to have to do this. Najib, do it. I got another one. Najib, do this. Okay, pull back. Whoa, guys. Okay, I'm going to have to step one of these heavies down to take a look. Actually, we know that tile's safe. Let's go down, Luis. Throw a grenade... We're gonna have to blow some bodies. I don't think we can really help it. It's just the way it is. Price of doing business. Pull back. I want to cover. They're they're obviously coming from that. Balzac, what are you doing here? Okay, you're gonna pull back, so you don't shock in everybody and prime that. And Tomas is coming through. Okay, I guess this is the spot here. Tomas, pull back so you don't become bait. Najib? Well, you're front and center. Francisco's ready to go. So let's check the grenade scene. We've got... Those two are still set up. That's a wide open entrance. We've got to do something about that. Um, Francisco, make it, make it right for us. Throw one here. Fortunately, Francisco, that's actually a bad spot for him. He was visible. So this squad here... Uh, did I set up another grenade there? I don't think I did, right? Can't even tell now. I don't even know. I don't think I did. No, look, these people are all... These two haven't had a turn yet. Okay. Erd, you're going downstairs. Ugh. It's always a shocker, right? Stepping down. Okay, you get ready for next turn. Let's put one of these guys with a grenade down. Rafal, you're the man. Do it. Let's put one here. Try to save that gun. Okay. And Leonid, we oh, you don't even have one. Lame. Erd is not primed yet. Okay, Erd. What do you have, Erd? You got a bunch, but Angel's ready to go. So maybe we're okay, but... Okay, Erd, you should throw it to him. And you should get it set up. Okay, and Erd's gonna do some more next turn. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh! Uh-oh. We're in trouble, guys. Reaper got through somehow. I didn't see that that grenade had blown. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh. These heavy rounds don't do it. You know, it's probably because they're, um... Wow, guys. I I'm astonished. It's because they're, um... Okay, I shouldn't do that yet. We should. We gotta go down. Abina's going down. Come on, Abina. So he came from down here. So wait. There's a... Oh, that's a corpse. Oh, he came around the corner. Right. There was no grenade over here. Because I was too cheap and didn't want to blow that corpse. Eh... <sighs> Okay, Albina. Um, the problem is, right, to have heavy rounds like this, mm, these guys are now really dangerous to have around. I think we're going to have to switch them to pistols. Both of them. It's just too dangerous to have them blow us up. So let's, where are they going to be pistols? Which they could be fairly effective as. Francisco. Mm. So, like, this is a vulnerable spot, but otherwise we're covered. If I put one here, it's still gonna 
may not, uh, it'll still blow the corpse, but you know what, like... Let's take our chances, I think. If it had been a floater that came up the stairs, it would have got lit. So, like, I'm not that worried, but... Okay, Thomas, let's get you set up with another one. Francisco... You're just going to be a shotgun man, as always. Let's go to the other team. So, Erd. Erd's on your recon, man. Oh, it hurts every time he steps out that. Yeah, but it looks good. Let's pull Erd back. What's the story in these two? Two shotgun people up front. A lot of shotgun people. It's a little dangerous, actually, but... At least none of the guys that are here have grenades, so if they go down, it's okay. And they're both wearing armor. Not that that will stop anything, but okay, let's do it. So it's turn 12. I think at turn 20, they start charging, which, hey, is a good thing. You know, but I'm like in this mode, there really is no such thing as shame. Like it's not, shame not in my vocabulary. It's just not in my vocabulary. Oh, look at that. Again, through the same hole. Yes, feel that. The same hole, but how many more can there be, right? Like, do I really want to keep, the, you know what I mean? Like, or check it out. Okay, that was another taking a dirt nap over there. That's good. Pull back and let's get Leonid to Leonel to set up one about, I want to say, here? Eh, we might lose whatever that is, alien entertainment or something, but I can live with it. Hope that was primed. And we're just gonna like, they, the question is, do they know about this hole? You know, like, do they know about it and are they working it? It almost looks like they are. Anyway, again, if it had been a floater, it would have got aired out. And it, it got just wasted by, well, it got up actually. Oh no, no, it got shot down here. That's good. So the shotgun, Aller shotgun chews through those things pretty good. Yes! In the face. Stepped right on that one. Wasted a bunch of bodies, but you know, you just... It's the way we have to do it. Now we're kind of in a, in a snitch here because we've got... Um, okay, Francisco's on recon. Step down, take a peek. Looks good. Back here. Let's get some grenades down. We gotta keep that that hole has to be full. It's it's yeah, we have to do this. It's it's unfortunate that we're losing bodies, but price of doing business. You know, everything else, that that hole, the dreaded hole there. Um I mean I won't lose the Reaper corpse, I'll just lose the floater corpse. I'm gonna mm, am I gonna regret this? Balzac. Let's fill the hole. Okay, we're officially out of proximities for the boss there. Okay, next turn. Okay, and let's take a look at the other crew. Erd, you're the number one recon man now. Oh, look at that, Erd. So it put one into bam in the chest. He, he was just about to step on a mine too, but I'd rather save the mine and put it around into his chest. Good, do it. Yes. 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 So we're starting to crack their morale, which is just a satisfying thing. Now, the the leaders aren't cracking, but you know, the engineers and stuff are. That's always a good experience, but Abina's going to take a peek. So we we Oh, look at that. A reaper down there. 19, do it. Huh? I'm still going to put some rounds at that thing. Actually, you know, these guys are great for... Oh, come on, Jacob. Yeah, they were they were good for... That's not going to do it. Come on, man. I need a couple people on Overwatch here. There's the boss. Actually, the boss make decent Overwatch. Let's move Liptak out with the boss up. 
he takes anything, he's gonna die. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. He didn't pick up that grenade? Balzac can do it. Prime that up, Balzac. Lip tax pull back a bit, and I don't know, I guess Francisco, let's take a, ra a shot at this thing. It would be nice to wound it because I don't know if that hit it or not. Because yeah, it's, um, you know, it's dangerous. Oh, and we're out of a mine there. That's unfortunate. I forgot about that. The question you got to ask yourself is how many more can possibly come out of that area, you know? That's the boss, and unfortunately I messed up the grenade order with him. He's going to have to just cover us. Bad. This is bad. They're vulnerable. Check the other crew. Um, where's Erd? Erd, step into it. Okay, they're still covered. They got lucky with the three sides. Okay, let's do this. Wait, what do we have for proximities? Probably need to get one more cook in here. Okay, let's do it. Uh oh. Yes. I don't think the Reapers ever panic. Oh. That's. Oh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what happened was the leaders came out and blaster bombed us. Yeah. All of them were killed with a blaster bomb. There could even be a proximity mine in here somewhere. I'm not aware. Lip tax bleeding. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, we have complete morale there, like we shot each other. It's just tragic is what it is. It's tragic. We lost a whole crew. Oh, guys. Oh, it was going really, really, really well. But I think now... Sadly, even though their morale was breaking, I mean, if we could rally this crew, maybe we could get back out there. But look at these wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. One wound. No. No. And lip tack. Everybody else is dead. Yeah, and if we lose everybody, we lose the Sky Ranger too. So it's an abort, guys. It's it's terrible, but I can't believe it. But there it is. Nineteen of them killed for nine of our guys. Really? Oh gosh. Wait a sec. Where was the tank that whole time? Oh, did it die right off the bat? I think maybe it did. Anyway, I I'm stunned about that. Um, maybe I didn't even see the tank. That, anyway, wow, guys. Wow. So, Dominguez, Justine, she went down. Rafael, oh god. Albina went down. Najib, Balzac went down. And then the Colonel went down. But the Colonel was pretty light. I don't know if there's any incentive for going right back into it. Um, Everybody was wounded off that, so the crew, they just emptied, just shoveled the bodies basically out of the Sky Ranger. We're down to a rookie squad. Everybody else is out of action for the foreseeable. Lip Tech survived. Oh, guys. Grim is what that is. So we need to buy like, you know, well, 10 soldiers at least, 600k. Um, to get back in action. And then, oh, it's just, it's just terrible. But... It was going so well until it wasn't, right? And I, the co the thing is, what do we lose for... Okay, we, we did okay for pulling back at least our kit. I, although... No, that must have blown up all our kit. 
I don't know. It, it, yes, it did. It blew up a lot of the kit. It blew up a ton of the kit that was lying on the floor there. That blaster bomb just cleared it out. Yep, high explosive, field pack. You know, we, we have the basics, but... You know, we lost a few pistols, so we gotta purchase some stuff out. Let's purchase some... Um, three pistols, no, five pistols, a couple of shotguns, a couple of sniper rifles. We lost the sniper rifles. Um, a couple of heavy cannons. You know, we're down a bunch of kit, a couple of grenade launchers, a bunch of 40 millimeter grenades are out of those. We lost the rocket launcher, you know? Not that we really needed that much, but it is good to have, I guess. We've got a bunch of grenades in the sack. Okay, Proxim's gone. Oh, what a disaster, guys. What a complete and total disaster. Um, get another stun rod. Get a couple of field metal packs, a couple of high explosives. You know, we're basically refitting the whole kit, the whole, the whole thing. A couple of tasers. Oh, it's really, really bad. Um, and you know, while we're at it, let's buy a few more avalanche initials. So we're down. We just lost a ton of money for no gain, and. Uh, Oh, it's defeating is what it is. And we're trying to repair these drones out. Now, wait, like, was there a drone on board? I, I don't know. I guess not. Did I go with all? I think I went with all soldiers. I think that's what happened. Because we had five survive and nine died. So that's 14 total. So that's what happened. But check the alloy shells. We've got alloy shells. We need to make some more, though. But, um, yeah. And note to self, like, don't bring extra stuff on the mission, right? Because... If that happens yeah we're, that's a major setback and it makes me question the whole um strategy of trying to you know bait them with grenades although i i did it once successfully offline but you know and i did not get blaster bomb so i think they did attack me with the blaster bomb offline but they they missed you know and they often missed in the stock game i don't know if they've improved the uh the waypoints but I think basically that alien, like he was moving right in on us. He was firing from almost point blank with it. So um, anyway, guys, disastrous attack on the base. But we, we, you know, at least we didn't lose the Sky Ranger. Let's look at the bright side. Cost us about a million bucks all in. But there it is. So um, anyway, guys, let's leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. It's been sort of a pleasure. And I'll catch you next time.